Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this uh, JPEG or whatever it is and was having trouble tracing it. It's a bitmap, but it's uh, 300 dots per inch, 300 dots per inch. And I've already cleaned it up and I've already uh, centered the file in the file section. And before I start, if you watch my videos, you know I have a lot of videos out here. Well, this video is my 2,400 videos, so 2,400 videos in less than four years. And just this morning, I hit 11,000 subscribers. And I want to thank everybody that writes me notes off my videos or emails me and thanking me, because that's what really keeps me going. You know, people weren't happy with what I was doing. I would have stopped a long time ago, but I, I truly... Love Corel Draw, and I've gotten pretty good at it, and I don't mind, and I love sharing what I've learned through the years from my mentors. So here we go. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to I'm going to resample it just to make sure it is 300 dots per inch, so that's good. But then I'm going to go and I'm going to convert it to bitmap, but I'm going to use grayscale because I don't need all the colors, but I need the definition of the colors differently. Then I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap. Yours will probably be under Outline Trace Clip Art. I use Clip Art a bunch. Reduce Bitmap because it's a big file. It's going to take just a few seconds to trace it. It traced really good. It's got a few hiccups, but it can be cleaned up. And as you can see, there it is. So you're, this is the old copy and this is the new copy. We are going to ungroup it. And this item is only two inches, so we're going to set our nudge factor on four, our nudge distance. First of all, we're going to look and we're going to take a rectangle. We're going to fill in the rectangle with yellow, and then I'm going to put it to the back of the page. And you can see a white bounding box in the white dots. That means it's not transparent. We do have it ungrouped, so I'm going to delete that. Now, because I have the fact we're going to delete that and get that out of the way, because I have it ungrouped, I can take the black and move it out of the way. Now I'm going to left click, right click, and now I've got an outline of that black. I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to move it out of the way. Matter of fact, I don't need that black one. I'm going to use the two grays. And I'm going to use those later. Now I'm going to take all this. And I'm going to left click, right click, and I got rid of all the white background. Now, there is some garbage, but it didn't really seem to bother it too much. But take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. You could probably go through here right now, and uh, especially if you have X8 and above, you can use the smoothing tool. But we're not going to go there. I'll smooth it up a little bit in a minute. And sorry about that. Now, because we have this, we can move it back over. And now, I'm going to take my heart, and I'm going to left click, right click, and I'm going to move it over. Left click, right click, and I'm going to move it over. Now, I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and fill in this ear, and now you've got your graphic. I'd go ahead and move this dot over. Now we want to left click no outline because we don't want it to cut. Now there is some problems. They're actually in the real drawing. There was like double hearts. So you could stop here and do that. Or there's another way to do this. You could take your smart fill tool and fill in that heart. Nudge it out of the way. Left click. Right click. Go to effects. Contour. We're going to contour to the inside just a little bit. Do the same thing on that one. Left click, right click. And because we haven't changed anything, we can contour both of them. Now we can group both these, or not group them, but select them both. Go to range and break them apart. Grab the inside and move it over. Grab the inside and move it over. So now... You can fill in these with black. Now, what I should have done prior 
is maybe go down and smooth it up. Now, if you do not have the smoothing tool, if you do not have X8 and above, um, I'd consider getting it because it's a cool tool. But if you've got some jagged lines. That can be done with or without the smoothing tool, but the smoothing tool makes it so much easier. Look at that. Just a couple of passes, and you've got good, clean vector lines. Just kind of, once you get going, get the hang of it, uh, try to go probably much the same speed on all of them, and that's how quick it could be done. Now, if you do not have the smoothing tool, you can do it with the shape tool. It's not near as fast, but can be done, and you can delete these nodes. And the, the more nodes you, the less nodes you have, the smoother it's going to be. Now, this will take a little time, but it can be done. That's how I did it for years. But the smoothing tool is great. And what I was suggesting, let's get the yellow box out of the way. I would have smoothed out this error or this heart before I contoured it because now my contour has a rough edge. So if you take your smoothing tool, in the smoothing tool, you have to click on the item you want to smooth and see it won't do anything to this heart because I'm not clicked on it. So you have to click on the heart. So what I was saying, I would have, I should have cleaned that line up prior to making this other heart. But that's a pretty cool graphic. Pretty easy. Just a little bit more cleanup and it's done. You know, engraved good. And oh, as always, you can see that there's no, it's transparent. The, uh, the black outline is just an outline. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.